Question number 24, part A, we are told, on the grid provided, draw a graph of y is equal to a half x squared minus x plus 3 for 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 6, and you get yourself 3 marks. Uh, so for us to be able to do that, okay, we have our function y is equals to a half x squared uh, minus x plus 3 uh, because of space I will not expand my table I'll just have the values of x and y but you can do that when you are uh, when you have enough space so that you eliminate the chances of making an error so this uh, just use two rows so this is our x and that is our y so we have 0 we have 1 2 uh, 3 4 Five and finally we have 6 uh, so you just pick the values of x and you substitute in your function for example y is equals when x is 0 uh, a half times 0 is 0 uh, and this will be minus 0 plus 3 so it means that our y is 3 when you substitute x is equals to 1 you will be able to get 2.5 uh, the other one you will be able to get 3 uh, then you have 4.5 uh, then you have uh, 7 and you have uh, 10.5 and finally you have 15 so these are the values that you get when you substitute your uh, the values of x in the in the function so with that uh, we we'll come and say this is uh, on our graph on our grid we can start with 0 we have 1 we have 2 we have 3, we have 4, we have 5, and we have 6. So that is our x-axis. And y, the highest value of y is uh, 15. Uh, so you can say, uh, let's say we have, uh, we can say we can't use one unit. Uh, so let's say we have, uh, we can have uh, 5, uh, we have uh, 10, and we have 15, we have 20, uh, I think that will give us a good scale. So that is our y-axis. Uh, from there, we, we brought the graph. So when x is 0, y is 3. Since here we have 10 units representing 5, so it means one unit is represented by two, square, two small squares. So that is where we have our, our, our point. When x is 1, it is 2.5. Uh, so this is 1. 2, 2.5, we have our point there. When x is 2, y is 3. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3. That's where we have our value there. Uh, then when x is uh, 3, uh, y is 4.5. So this is where we have uh, 3, uh, 4, 4.5 will be there. Uh, then when x is uh, 4, y is 7. So here it is 5, 6, 7. So we have our point there. Uh, then when x is uh, 5, uh, y is 10.5. So 5, this is 10, 10.5 we have there. Then when x is 6, uh, y is 15. Uh, when x is 6, y is 15. So these are the points that are going to guide us to plot there. Uh, the, 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 the curve of the function y is equals to a half x squared minus x plus 3. So using uh, your free hand, you join this point and you come up with the, uh, with the graph. So part B, you are to calculate the midpoints of uh, for 5 stripe x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 6 and hence use the mid ordinate rule to approximate the area under the curve x is equals to 1, uh, x is equals to 6, and the x-axis. So the mid-ordinates, uh, uh, what we do is we read the points uh, which uh, we have here, the mid-ordinate that is from 1 to 6, and you from the graph you will be able to get from uh, that is from 1.5 the mid that is uh, at 1.5 the midpoint is 2.7 
and at uh, 2.5 2.5 that is this is a that is a first stripe uh, the second one is a 2.5 the mid ordinate will be 3.7 then at 3.5 the mid ordinate will be 5.5 and then we have 4.5 uh, we have uh, the mid ordinate is 8.5 and uh, at 5.5 the mid ordinate is 13 uh, so we approximate those values and therefore with the values we can be able to get we'll be able to get the area so the area is uh, using the mid ordinate rule area is equals to uh, the height is 1 uh, you multiply by uh, the mid the sum of the mid ordinates that is 2.7 plus 3.7 uh, plus 5.5 plus 8.5 uh, plus 13 and that should give you the area which is equals to uh, 33.4 and these are square units square units so that is how you get the area uh, from there we go to part C. Assuming the area estimated by integration to be actual area, calculate the percentage error in using the midpoint, the mid ordinate rule. So to get the area using the integration, we are going to integrate the function uh, a half x squared uh, minus x my plus three, and the limits are from one to uh, to 6 so if you integrate that you'll be able to get so you'll be able to get uh, you integrate this you'll be able to get this will be uh, x cubed divided by 6 minus a half that is a uh, that is a minus a half a half x squared and then we have uh, plus 3x you close the bracket and this the limits are 1 to 6 and when you compute that you will be able to get that the 3.3 uh, to 2 and small place now to calculate the percentage error uh, we say that uh, let me use this space here you say that uh, you subtract the at 3 minus at the 3.4 minus that uh, that 3.3 that will give you 0 0.1 you divide by the actual area which you have obtained by integrating that 3.3 and you multiply by 100 and when you compute that you'll be able to get the percentage error is 0 0.3 percent so that's how you get you work out that question uh, I have used um, a lot of shortcuts because of space but uh, in an exam uh, paper you have a whole page to do the calculations and show all your work but that is how you generally go about that question